We have been through some tests already. You can be here today and gone tomorrow. These companies do not care about you. For Valentine's Day. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey girl, hey, or hey boy, hey. My name is Cameron and I'm so glad that you decided to click on this video. If you have some time, go ahead and check out some of my previous videos. And if you decide that you like me and my content, go ahead and click that red subscription box below to subscribe to my YouTube channel. As you can tell from today's title, today is Valentine's Day and we are doing a haul get ready with me. And uh, I'm showing y'all my makeup routine and just giving y'all a little girls talk as well as taking y'all out to dinner with us so let's get into the video y'all so it is love day aka valentine's day so happy valentine's day to all of you all out there watching this video we are going to be getting ready you're gonna get ready with me for our valentine's day dinner our din din so we're going out to this new restaurant and yeah, let's get started we are starting off with this power grip primer from elf it is so popular the tiktok girls have just been raving about it so i was like okay let me pick this up my face is moisturized and clean so gonna rub it all in all over your face i like the stickiness i have about like 30 minutes to get dressed because Kobe is still in the bathroom. I don't know. Do y'all, men, uh, your husband, your fiancés, your boyfriends, do they stay in the bathroom for a long time? Because mine do. And I think maybe I have a broken one because I've lived with a man. I've lived with my bonus daddy and he does not stay in the bathroom for that long, for as long as Kobe stays in the bathroom. So I'm like, what are you really doing in there? We'll never know because he locks the door. After my face is primed, I'm going to go in with the Estee, Estee Lauder. I don't know if, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's the double wear stay in place makeup. I picked this up from Ulta. Can you see? Hopefully that's showing clear. But I just get a little dab and I just make dots all over my face because I don't like too much makeup. Kobe doesn't like me with makeup on anyway. So, but you know, I feel like I'm stepping into my makeup era. Like, I want to do something new. And it just so happens that I'm getting more into makeup. You just gonna have to get over it while I explore this new era. So, while we get ready, I figured that I wanted to do a little girls talk because I hadn't talked to y'all in such a long time. It had to be like November, October, November the last time I talked to y'all. That's a long time y'all. We gotta catch up. We have to catch up. I gotta tell y'all about how, how engaged life is, how it is living in this house, wedding planning. So let's get into it. Let's get into it. So let's start off with engaged life. How is engaged life? How has life been since I've been engaged? Y'all, child, we have been through some tests already. And I'm like, dang, we only what, one month, two months in now? Jesus. But no, it's, it's really not for the week. I believe Kobe is my person and I wouldn't rather go through any of this with anybody else. The biggest thing, finances, personal finances. How to budget together, budget both of our salaries together. So that's just, it's okay. It's a work in progress. It's a work in progress. Also just minor stuff around the house. Like I don't want to feel like I'm doing everything on my own as far as cleaning, cooking. Don't get me wrong, but I love cooking. I love cooking for him. Just trying out new recipes, making sure that it's like good. Like I like his feedback. Like, yeah, yeah, Cam, you did this. Yeah, Cam, it's good. It's just, it's just minor stuff, but you know, I'm enjoying it. it I don't have any, I don't have any bad Bad reviews on engaged life. Life is basically still the same. <laughs> we are still the same people. We're just having to navigate, you know, everything being together now. And you might be like, y'all stuff wasn't together when y'all first bought the house. We were we were doing our own thing. We were doing our own thing. But now we gotta figure out what we're gonna do. Yeah. I'm going in with my elf um brow lift. Finally got my hands on. I have so such wild eyebrows. I don't know why I have a mirror right here. So we gotta make sure these babies are in place. 
but back to engaged life my biggest thing is to just continue doing what we've been doing before we got engaged like you know making sure that we have date nights like not slacking on showing each other love and affection and stuff like that and i want that to carry on into our marriage because i've had plenty of people telling me how once you got the ring things gonna change and stuff like that and i don't want anything to change you know keep that same energy you had when you first got me on down the line forever because this is what it is this is a forever thing i'm going in with this dark brown eyebrow pencil it's a sample from constance cosmetic and i just still use it but i'm just gonna fill in Next, I'm going in with my NARS concealer. This is in the shade Biscuit. I'm just gonna conceal my eyebrows and some other parts of my face. I don't know, y'all know I'm not a makeup artist. I just do what I learn on TikTok. Let's talk about TikTok, y'all. This app is so addicting and I think it's not normal. The amount of time that I spend on TikTok is not normal at all. It's like you can be on there for five minutes and it turns to like three hours and like, what? I don't understand, but it's addicting. And you can learn so much from TikTok. Now I'm just gonna conceal my under eye, my chin, my nose. I think they put something in that, in that app. I don't know, it's not normal. Cause let me tell y'all something. Hobie was so against TikTok when it had to be last year. He was so against TikTok. I'm not getting on that, I'm not getting on that. The boy send me TikToks every freaking day now. So let's move on to wedding planning. Y'all, this has been the most confusing thing that I've had to do in my life, honestly, without my mama. And I'm just like, what am I supposed to do? You know, I'm always like talking to my TT, like, what am I, what am I supposed to do? Like, is this how much weddings are supposed to cost? Like, yo, I had no idea that weddings, I didn't know that they were as expensive as they are. And I'm just like, Come on now, for a few hours, for, for a day? But as y'all seen in our venue vlog, well my venue vlog, y'all seen what venue we chose. And it wasn't the cheapest by far, I can tell you that. But it wasn't the most expensive either. These folks are making a killing. So in my head, I'm like, I need to go get some land. I need to build up a building. I need to do this because they making a lot of money just for a building. Building and table and chairs, they are making. They are making a killing. We need to make something shape. But overall, I feel like we have the basics down. We secured a venue. We have our wedding planner and we have our photographer. The photographer is coming from Georgia. From what I know, is one of my dad's friends. So, you know, if you wanna help, Come on, cause we ain't discriminating. As long as I see proof of your work, we have this understanding that September 16th, you gonna do everything you can in order to make sure our day goes smooth. Come on, we'll feed you, we'll pay you, we feed you. The next few things that we have to do is set up our registry, find the hotels for everybody. We have to go dress shopping. I have to send out my bridesmaid proposal boxes. Like y'all, it's... And it's already February. September is going to be here before I know it. And it's just like, uh. speaking of wedding planning, I am in a dilemma. So y'all know Beyonce released her tour dates, right? And I am in such a dilemma. I don't know if I should just cancel the bachelorette trip and just go to the Beyonce concert. Because at this point, I don't know how much the tickets are going to be because I'm choosing to go to Nashville. I don't know how much the tickets are going to be. And it's just like, I'm confused because I want to take Kevin Kamora with me as well. I want them to be able to go see Beyonce because this is our, well, it's not our favorite album, but we really love this album. Like, baby, come over. Alien Superstar. Whip, whip, I'm. Yeah, that. Yeah, we jam out to that. We have a jam session every time we are together. Beyonce's Renaissance album. So I was like, hell yeah, I'm gonna take my sisters. Like, but I was waitlisted for the Atlanta show, right? And I'm just like, do I really wanna go to the Atlanta show? Cause the Atlanta show is like August. They have school. They have. They both have to go back to school. Kamora, she'll be a junior. Kaylee, she'll be a sophomore in college. So I was just like, I don't wanna. I don't wanna deal with that. 
I'm using my Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder in the shade Translucent Honey. But yeah, they go back to school in August. I don't want to deal with having to move Kaylee in and then she missing class. Kamora missing stuff for cheer. So we just going to try to go to the Nashville show and that's in July. So hopefully nothing comes up. I want to have a nice wedding experience. I want to make memories, but you know, you know, I want to make memories with my sisters too. I'm going to see Beyonce. Whatever God tells me to do, you know, we're going to do. But hopefully I can have both. I think I really want to go to Miami for my bachelorette trip. But even with that, I need to go ahead and get that stuff sent out so my friends will know and be able to start saving. I have contacted a travel agent too. And then another thing, we have to get our passports. Now this video is just all over the place. <laughs> but we have to get our passports because we don't have our passports. I'm going to do my eyeshadow with the Going Coconut color pop eyeshadow palette i don't want to rush anything like i don't want to be last minute with anything but i did not want to push my wedding back to uh, 2024 i feel like as long as we're able to have a wedding within the next year we should so that's what we're doing am i excited i am i am so excited for our wedding i think i'm more excited to have all of my family back here for a good reason this time too because last time we were all together you know it's my mom's funeral but for all of us to come back be together and just party and just turn up that vlog gonna be a movie <laughs> it's not like just my mama's side it's my mama's side my daddy i wish i started youtube when i was in high school how i had my sweet 16 and everybody was together then too and that was a movie too i went in with my fenty beauty contour stick and the shade truffle speaking of miss fenty how did y'all like that performance mm -hmm. let me know in the comment section i liked it i was looking at her and i was just like is she pregnant? Like I asked Kelly, I was like, do you think she's pregnant? And Kelly was like, no, no, she's not pregnant. No. She pregnant. <laughs> Turn around, she is pregnant. She is fully pregnant. She can do that though. That's one person like I just aspire to be. I love black women that are doing the dang on thing for themselves. And just like her whole beauty line. I have to get serious about my stuff. I can do it. Like my products are so good. I feel like it's because I don't have my, I don't want this to be a vlog, uh, a video of me just talking about my mom. But honestly, it's the truth. Like when she was here, we would always just be talking about our business adventures. And you know, she's very encouraging. Cameron, you can do this. Stop doubting yourself. You have the potential to do this, to be this, and all of that. And now that I don't have that anymore, it's just like, why am I doing this? And I don't want to be so stuck on having my nine to five because yes, that is my primary source of income, but you can be here today and gone tomorrow. These companies do not care about you. They will let you go in a minute. The company that I work for, we had layoffs in December and y'all, that was the most saddest thing. It's Christmas time. Most of these folks have families and you calling and telling them, yeah, you're being laid off. I felt like that was so inconsiderate, but these folks gonna do what's best for them at the end of the day. You never know when they may call and say, hey, we don't need you anymore. What kind of crap is that? It was happening all over the world. I was thankful that it wasn't me, but I was also sad because it's just like, it's Christmas time. What are these people gonna do? It's hard to find jobs nowadays anyway. I felt like that was just, it was completely wrong in my eyes. Next, we're gonna do blush. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. powder blush palette we're moving right along I don't know what it's gonna take for me to just get up and start believing in myself again but I need to I just be sleeping on myself I'd be doubting on myself and it's just like girl it's already so many people out here sleeping on you why are you sleeping on yourself how it's looking y'all how it's looking I am going to go in with the Maybelline Lash Sensational Sky High Mascara I don't know if I should put lashes on today we'll see how it look Should I put lashes on or leave my eyelashes how they are? I don't know. I'm kind of feeling this, this little soft, simple look. So I guess we're just going to go with my natural eyelashes. I'm going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I really like this setting spray. 
and I'll grab my little fan. Hopefully my face turned out really cute on camera, but now I'm gonna show y'all my hair. I realized that I haven't showed y'all my hair since I cut like my locks off. Then last weekend, I reinstalled my locks, but they're just shorter. I have them all wrapped in my Wrap-A-Lock tool, and I'm just gonna unravel them, and hopefully they curl very well. <laughs> So now that the tools, all of the tools are out, I'm just trying to, I think I wrapped them in the wrong direction, but I can pin them up. This is how my short little micro locks are looking, y'all. for time so i'm thinking this cute little iridescent picture with these leggings and some black heels i'm gonna put it together and see how it looks okay so i have the outfit on but hubby does not like the outfit he doesn't like the shirt we're gonna do our lip combo now i'm gonna use the constance cosmetics And then I'm going to go in with this pink shade. It doesn't have a name yet, but it is a sample. And I'm going to blend it with my finger. And then I'm just going to top it off with some gloss. It's like from a very, very old collection. So I changed my bottoms, but... But y'all, Kobe is turning the lights off, so that means it's time to go. He treat me like it's the club. So we made it home and we stopped by and got some Chick-fil-A. So that should tell you all you need to know about the restaurant. Kobe gave the restaurant a 6.4. I'm giving it around a seven. Nothing was wrong with it. He said that the proportion size could have been a little bit bigger and you know, I agree, but it was a nice little restaurant for our first time. I'd go back if I had to. But y'all, these are my little flowers that I got for Valentine's Day. They're so beautiful, so beautiful. And then I got bunt cakes for Valentine's Day too, but I ate one. I'm gonna sit here and eat my fries. I'll pick y'all back up later.
Hey guys, it's the next day. And as you all just seen, I made my smoothie for the day and I'm just sitting down getting ready to work. After I put y'all down last night, we didn't do anything but snuggle up with our little fur baby and watch Tubi movies. Um, the Tubi movie that we watched was called The Unfair Exchange. And it was actually good. It was one of the best Tubi movies that I have seen thus far. So if you're a Tubi movie watcher, go ahead and check that out. We have made it to the end of the vlog. I hope you all enjoy spending Valentine's Day evening with us and I hope it was a good vlog. As always, thank you all for watching this whole entire video. Please don't forget to give me a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. I will see y'all in my next video. Bye!